Hello and welcome all you volleyball fans for another installment of YSN Live Volleyball. We head into the friendly confines of Berlin Center here at Western Reserve High School as we have a matchup between the Western Reserve Blue Devils and the Austin Town Fitch Falcons. Blue Devils coming in with a good record of 8-3, and three, Falcons 9-1 and one on the season. Starters today, first for the Blue Devils, Raylan Meyer, Lisa Eichert, Angelina Capabianca, Emily Martin, Olivia Hughes, Dalen Brown, and Allison Jones is the libero. For Fitch, it's Riley Simons, Kylie Folkwine, Afton Roby, Jordan Smith, Jocelyn Jordan, Jordan Binion, and Lily Diltz as the libero. Matchup to watch, kill leader for both teams. Jocelyn Jordan coming into today for Fitch, 186 kills. Opposing her on the other side for the Blue Devils, number nine, Olivia Hughes, with 161 on the season. Blue Devils to serve first. It's Raylin Meyer. The lefty gets one off. Jocelyn Jordan gets the first touch. The swing coming from the far side of the net. Free ball attempt now to Fitch as three touches to get it over by reserve. And now that on four touches going to award the first point to the Blue Devils as Fitch in three couldn't get it to cross the net. Meyer again. With the serve, three touches, soft touch to get it over, in the air. Reserve has it tip up before crossing the net. Any touching of this ceiling prior to will result in a point for the other team. So Fitch gets it, Riley Simons, the freshman, to serve. Capabianca had the first touch, the setup. Swing goes far side. Jocelyn Jordan has it. The setup, the swing. Two hits in the air. The swing from the Blue Devils goes to Lily Diltz in the back. Simons to Jordan Smith on the swing. Nice job by Allison Jones. Came diving in defensively to get the stop. Nice libero work. The swing now from Kylie Folkwine to the crowd. It goes and Fitch takes their first lead. Two to one. Falcons with the serve. Riley Simons already stamping her name on record books. Most assists in a match already belongs to the young freshman in Austin Town as the swing from Lisa Eichert goes wide left of near side of the court. And Fitch now takes a two-point advantage. Standard five-set match. First to three wins. First three sets of 25. Set four, if necessary, will also be to 25. And set five, if necessary, to 15. Fitch on a run now. Four straight for the Falcons. Riley Simons, 21 aces on the year. And puts her at the top of the serve order for a reason. Lisa Eichert attacks, dilts the libero. Simons sets up. Jordan Smith has it blocked right back. In the Falcons' face, nice defense by Austin Town to get it back on the reserve side. Looking for open hardwood, finding open hardwood. Nice setup, nice kill, reserve. Back with the serve. Eichert with the swing, tips off the net. Nice job, Lily Dilts got a hold of it. Kylie Folkwine with the swing. Meyer. Gets it up, the swing, oh, the kill. Yes, no, they say point to Fitch. Looked like that might have been close, but they say outside. Nice swing regardless by Olivia Hughes. Fitch gets back up by three. Kylie Folkwine. Here goes another swing by Hughes off of Jocelyn Jordan. Diltz recovers it. Back to the front of the net. Simon sends it over. Meyer sets up near side. Right back to the net. Blocked as Capabianca gets it across. Fitch offense now reacting as Jocelyn Jordan tried to get it across. It goes out of bounds off the touch of Western Reserve and Fitch. Since taking the lead has really held in command since Jones gets a hold of it, still in the air. Oh, Jones just comes up short of the net. Good effort, though, by Allison Jones. And no matter what sport it is that she plays here at Western Reserve, whether that be volleyball, basketball, always giving it her all, putting full heart into every sport that she plays. You see it again, heart and hustle. 
Don't look further than Allison Jones. Oh, what a nice dig by Kylie Folkwan. And got it back on the reserve side of the net, and that's when good things can happen. Happens for Fitch right here. They take a lead by a half dozen. Serve game's been really good for the Falcons. Folkwine. Eichert got the first touch. Far side, nice block again by Fitch. Net defense doing a great job. Not getting the statistical block per se as far as points, but still stopping a lot of swings at the net and forcing reserve into setting up different offensive looks as that one touched off of reserve. Last goes to the backstop, touches the wall, point goes to Austin Town, 9-2. Kylie Folkwine, freshman. You can actually find player profile for Folkwine. And her Folkwine is no ordinary freshman story posted today on YSNlive.com. As breaking the streak and getting a point in their favor, Western Reserve to get the serve back. And it's going to be Capabianca. Capa Bianca, 25 aces on the season and on time and on target, make it 26 as Capa Bianca with the ace. Back within five. Diltz gets it straight up in the air. Jordan Smith to Jocelyn Jordan. Free ball attempt now for reserve. Olivia Hughes looking for open hardwood. Simon sets up, swing near side. Jordan Smith got it across, and it drops in. Falcons to get another point. As Afton Roby with the serve for Fitch. Right back to Olivia Hughes, who tried to set it up to herself. Swing a bit too strong, though, as Fitch picks up another. Austin Town, since taking that early advantage, has not let up. Nice swing, stopped at the net, sent it over and across. Simons to the far side. Oh, and a standard kill from Jocelyn Jordan. She's only done it 186 times before that. Add another one to her total on the season. As one of the best in the area, no doubt. Big lead for Austin Town and point. Going to go to reserve and send the serve back to the Blue Devils. Failing to rotate. So now in to serve, making a substitution, Madison Leone. Running a 5-2 this season, reserve utilizing two setters. Leone being the other one. Oh, what a swing off of Fitch last and a point for reserve. Western Reserve needs to go on a run of their own trying to close this gap. Leone. Very good behind the service line in her own right. The fake as Jordan Smith shot blocked and good net defense by the Blue Devils. Three in a row for Reserve. And that's one area where Reserve has better numbers on the season than Fitch coming into this game. That net defense blocks. Combined efforts, Olivia Hughes, Lisa Eichert get a lot of blocks. Double touch though. On reserve and a point awarded to Fitch. Serve awarded to Fitch. Jordan Smith. Straight up in the air. Leone got it. Olivia Hughes swings it across. Dilts to Simon. Swing, kill. Jocelyn Jordan. Another kill for Jordan. And now Jordan Smith, junior for Fitch. Serve to that back row, working it back towards the front. Olivia Hughes 
soft touch on the swing. Jocelyn Jordan bangs it off some Blue Devil hands and gets another point for the Falcons. 15-7. Jordan Smith. Serve too strong as Reserve gets the point and the serve back. Reserve's had a couple opportunities to try to tighten the gap a bit. Tried to drop in a serve just outside. Wide left on the attempt by Olivia Hughes. And Fitch picks one right back up. Single digits, nine is the magic number for Austin Town. Jocelyn Jordan on the serve. In on that first touch, Eichert. Eichert with the swing goes to Jocelyn Jordan. Swinging now, Kylie Folkwine. Nice dive, swing on two from reserve. Jordan had the first touch. Kylie Folkwine swing goes too strong. And reserve. Picking up some points on Falcon swing errors. Down the stretch here of set number one. Libero behind the service line. And Allison Jones, Jordan Smith, Riley Simons, Jordan Binion on the swing. Did she drop it in? Yes, she did. Put it on a dime. Served it up. Nice kill. Jordan Binion gets the Falcons to within eight of a victory. Lily Diltz. That serve. Oh, the tip in. Dropped it in. No, they say crossing the line. And Re Western Reserve going to get the point on the violation by Austin Town. Blue Devils looking to put a string of scoring together. Meyer, top of the serve order. Jordan Smith sets up to the center. The swing, nice job getting underneath it. Blue Devils send... Falcons scrambling, Jocelyn Jordan on the swing. Again, just dropping it in as lightly floats its way into Falcon territory. They dispose of it as they should for another kill. 18-10, Falcons in front. Riley Simons from number one to another number one in Allison Jones. Oh, what a swing. Lisa Eichert gets the Falcons defense. In a hurry up, Raylan Meyer, nice setup. Swing too strong, though, by Eichert. And Fitch needs six. And a timeout going to be called by Coach Hughes, and we'll take a timeout as well here in set one. It's 19-10, to 10, Austin Town in front. Ty Bartell, YSNlive.com. We'll be right back. Coca's Pizza, your high school football headquarters. Come to pregame with half-off select appetizers in our dining room starting at 5 p.m. Also want to stay for the game? We'll be playing it live. That's Coca's Pizza. We serve it hot. Every customer has a story, whether it's buying a car for the first time, helping them get approved, or finding the perfect car for their budget. I'm proud that people trust me with their story. I'm Tracy, and I'm ready to go the extra mile for you, only at Greenwood Chevrolet. Right back here in Berlin Center, Western Reserve High School, Austin Town leading here and set one by nine points with the serve. Riley Simons from the top of the serve order. Capabianca gets the first touch, setting up the swing from Capabianca, and Reserve going to need to look to bring those swings inside a bit. Extending beyond the baseline a few times, the Blue Devils. Fitch needing five for an opening set victory. Meyer sets up far side. Jocelyn Jordan gets underneath it, shoots it straight up in the air, and getting it off some hands and finding some open hardwood. Julia Jordan keeps the Falcons train rolling here in set number one. Simons, another nice serve. Reserve with the soft touch, but Kylie Folkwine again defensively able to get underneath it. Here comes the swing from Eichert. First touch from Jocelyn Jordan. Swing from Afton Roby, shooting it straight to the net. Reserve couldn't get it across the net, and another point 
for the Falcons. They're within three of the victory. Riley Simons already with 329 assists as a setter on the season. Trying to set up for another one. Nicely defended Olivia Hughes. Eichert trying to find the gap in between the rows. Nice defense from Austin Town. Free ball attempt. The swing going to be four touches for reserve. One too many. Point to Austin Town. Timeout again. Last one of the set for the Blue Devils. We'll take one as well. Thank our friends over at YSU. The environment in the hospital can be very intense for a patient. Being able to put a smile on their face brightens up my day. I go to Youngstown State University and my passion is nursing. What I love about studying nursing is that it takes you out of the classroom and into the lab. It's really hands-on. The professors here push you to be your absolute best, so if you want it, you gotta work hard for it. I am so excited about my future. I'm Shantiana and I am why I'm proud. Right back here, Riley Simons in Austin Town, looking for the final two points needed to close out an opening set. Victory Meyer sets up to Eichert. Eichert on the swing couldn't get it past the defense of Julia Jordan. Allison Jones keeps it alive, trying to find some open hardwood again on the soft touch swing. Couldn't get it. Defense of Falcons looking really good. Lily Dilts again. Hitting the deck to keep it alive. Allison Jones on the first touch. Meyer sets up. Swing from Eichert. Eichert gets it across. Dilts to Jocelyn Jordan. Oh, what a nice dig by Allison Jones. A swing too far, though, and reserve. Giving a lot of points up on the swing. Errors down the stretch, not helping them. Looking to clean that up as this set in. Future sets come along here tonight. And dropping in a hurry. Kylie Folkwine managed to get underneath it. Fitch sending it over again. Three touches. Oh, the block. And that's going to end it. What a block to put the cherry on top of set number one. 25-10. Fitch winners here in set number one. They take a 1-0 set lead. Set two going to be up right after this three-minute break. We have intermissions in between sets. So we'll thank some of our Local sponsors that are able to bring this game to you absolutely free of charge today. Ty Bartell, YSNlive.com. We'll be right back. storm season. I think we're under the gun for some heavy storms over the next couple of hours. And Storm Tracker 21 is ready. This is probably the one we're keeping a closer eye on. On air. And locally, we're going to have a lot of eyes on our area. Online. All right, let's talk high risk future cast and the timing of this weather. On social media and on our app. Rain will come and go tomorrow. There'll be some dry intervals. Stay ready with Storm Tracker 21. The severe weather threat now through around sunset this evening. Change. This one word can make you break out in a cold sweat. But with change comes wisdom, experience, and understanding. At Myers Family Insurance, we can help make changes in Medicare, insurance, and retirement a positive experience for you and your family. We've gone through changes, like our new office and new faces to help our family of clients too. For all your Medicare needs, call Myers Family Insurance. Check us out online at MyersFamilyInf.com or find us on Facebook. Jimmy Sudman here, director of Isle, Purple Cat, and Golden String. We are happy to support YSN and two of my favorite people, Scotty Mincher and Super Dave O'Malley. We are an agency that provides services for adults with disabilities. We infuse 
humor, passion, and joy into their lives. If you know of any folks with disabilities that need our assistance, please contact us. Welcome in everybody. Start of set number two here on YSNlive.com as the Austintown Fitch Falcons taking set one by a score of 25 to 10. But Western Reserve gonna open up the scoring here and take a one nothing advantage. As Reserve on the swing, able to get two in a row and the Blue Devils take a 2-0 advantage. Blue Devils knowing how desperately they need to get this set back. Can't really afford to fall behind two sets to none. A lot of work needs to be done at that point. Madison Leone on the setup called for the double touch and a point to Austin Town. Austin Town wearing their all white unis, libero in the Navy. Red, white, and blue tops for the Blue Devils with the libero in all blue for reserve. And what a point dropping it in. Blue Devils not messing around, taking a three to one lead to start Angelina Capabianca. Able to stay in, Kylie Folkwine, the swing, Jocelyn Jordan. Leone, swing tipped off the net. Up in the air, swing from Jocelyn Jordan, off some Blue Devil hands. They set up, swing from Olivia Hughes, who gets the kill. Olivia Hughes came into today, 161. Kills on the season. Add another to her total. Jordan Smith on the swing. Nice defense to keep that one alive. Lily Dilts to Riley Simon. Swing off of the hands and arms of Lisa Eichert. And Fitch gets their second score of the set. As Emily Martin did a fantastic job of Tracking that one down defensively. Sierra Cable. With the serve. They're gonna try to set up Olivia Hughes again defensively. Tipped at the net, out of bounds. Call out of bounds, last touch by Fitch. Point goes to reserve and it's a 5-2. Blue Devil lead in the set. Trailing one set to none, Blue Devils trying to maintain their advantage. Here in set number two, Folkwine, Simons, swing. Did she get it? Yes, she did. Jocelyn Jordan with a kill. Tremendous accuracy by Jordan, keeping it within the far sideline at a kill. Get the serve back to Austin Town. Hitting the deck, Capabianca gets the touch. They're gonna have to send over a free ball. Eichert touches it, setting up swing, left a gap in the defense. Jocelyn Jordan takes advantage. Back-to-back -back kills, Fitch within one. Capabianca checking out, Alexa Abrams checking in. Abrams. In for defense, 55 digs on the season coming into today. Jordan Smith. From Eichert to Meyer, the swing. Whoa, what defense again. Jocelyn Jordan. Blink and you'll miss it. Sent it right back. To the hardwood, we're all tied up at five apiece. Eichert, free ball. Austin Town looks to take advantage. This time it goes to Binion. Jordan Binion gets the kill. Simons 
Saw the defense was looking for it to go to Jocelyn. Decided to flip the script, sent it backwards to Binion, who ultimately got another kill and the lead for Fitch. First of the game, swing bounces off some reserve hands at the net, able to get it over and across. Oh my goodness. Jocelyn Jordan playing on another level she can't miss right now. Finds some open hardwood again on an excuse me swing across the net. 7-5, Fitch in front, Jordan Smith. Meyer gets it to Hughes. Great job by Olivia Hughes. That's a tough angle to work with as that swing goes too strong by Fitch and Reserve gets one back, gets the serve back. Looking to even things back up. Top kill getter for the Blue Devils in Olivia Hughes to serve. Wow, no movement on that serve, like a knuckleball. Two touches, sends it over. Eichert gets the point and sent the defense scrambling for Fitch. Tying things up, seven apiece. Reserve not allowing Fitch to take that big scoring run that they got in set one. And that ultimately helped decide the game. Another nice serve. Two touches, Fitch has to send over. Free ball opportunity by Folkwine. Meyer, the setup, the swing. Tipped at the net, Eichert had the swing. Jocelyn Jordan tries to counter swing. Point to reserve, stays on Austin Town side. 8-7. Blue Devils in front, Olivia Hughes. Western Reserve star grabbing an ace. What a serve by Olivia Hughes. Add another to the Blue Devil lead. Hughes, on the season, came in with 30 aces. Very dangerous server to have as number four, excuse me, number five in the serve order. It's Jocelyn Jordan. Just always seems to know when the right swing fits the right situation. Soft touch. Gets it off of the Blue Devils last. Gets the serve back to Austin Town with the point. Swing to the back row. Sierra Cable got the touch to Jordan Smith. Free ball by Riley Simons. Setting up Lisa Eichert on the swing. Eichert trying to drop it in. Too strong. Fitch evens things back up again. Nine all. Austin Town with the serve. It's Jocelyn Jordan. As the hit initially on the receive game. Receive error on the serve from Jocelyn Jordan. Fitch back in front. Eichert got the first touch to Meyer. The setup, the swing. Oh, nice drop in by Dalen Brown on the kill. We're back even again. A race to 15 here in Western Reserve. Allison Jones, libero. Simon sets up, Folkwan looks for the kill. What a defensive drop in by Jones. Got underneath it, touch Jones, tried to get a hold of it. Boy, cannot ever discount the hustle. Of Allison Jones shows it once again. Gives her all on every play as Dilts. Jones to the ground. The setup by Meyer. The swing. Kappa Bianca tried to angle that in which way they can get it out. But shot. It's one of the line judges. And the point goes to reserve. Double singles for each team, both ways. Reserve with the serve. Martin gets it over. Simons to Folkwine, blocked at the net, back to Austin Town. They are able to send it over on two. Third touch, oh, nice awareness, Lisa Eichert. 
drop it where they're not. Lead for reserve. Madison Leone on the serve, just a bit too strong. And a dozen for each team. Much closer contest than the previous one. As Western Reserve making some great adjustments from set one to set two. Simons sets up Roby, did she drop it in? They're calling it, yes, one way. Yep, Fitch grabs the kill and the lead. Keeping it in. Falcons defensively have been really good at really taking those mini runs that Western Reserve has been able to go on and responding by just getting a point when, when they need to. Getting a point and just staying resilient defensively as a half-hearted swing couldn't get full power behind it. Fitch up by two. 14-12, Simons to serve. Eichert to Leone. Capabianca with the swing. Jocelyn Jordan got it to the air. Point gonna go to Western Reserve. Double touch, Riley Simons gets called for. And honestly, don't see a ton of those. Get called on the freshman, does a really good job of playing that setter role without getting called on violations. Another great job by Simons right there as sets up a beautiful swing. Fitch reclaims their two-point advantage. Measuring it up, trying to get the swing. Hughes couldn't get it across the fence as a 16-13 Austin Town advantage. Three points, the lead for Fitch. Served by Folkwine, make it four points for Fitch. Another run by the Falcons. Similar to what we saw in set one. Falcons now creating some distance As timeout taken by reserve side. Good timeout by Coach Hughes. We'll take a quick one as well. YSNlive.com be back with this volleyball matchup between the Blue Devils and the Falcons. Your teams work hard and give it all they've got. Well, so does ours, because 21 Sports and YSN give you extra effort when covering local sports. 21 Sports and YSN, winning coverage of our Valley's teams. Set two to resume, it's an Austin Town serve with a 17-13 advantage over the Western Reserve Blue Devils. Folkwine on the serve, got it to Jones. The swing gonna come from Eichert. Defensively, Folkwine gets to it first. Jocelyn Jordan on the swing for Fitch. Jones in the air, Eichert gets it tipped at the top of the net. Jocelyn Jordan attacks Eichert. Able to get underneath it, right back on the Falcons' side. Trying to play net defense, searching for the back row. Allison Jones gets it in the air. Two hits, need to send over a free ball. Jones able to set up to do so. Folkwine gets underneath it. Afton Roby gets the kill at the end of it. Nice volley from both teams. Fitch showing good composure throughout. Cap it off with a kill. Folkwine on the serve. Spikes into the net, got too much of it as Western Reserve within four. Needs a nice little scoring run late in the set. Leon on the first touch. Swinging comes from Olivia Hughes. Diltz gets underneath it. Simons, Jocelyn Jordan on the swing. Capabianca on the touch. Madison Leone 
Sends it over. Swing again. Did she keep it in? I don't think so. Yes, she did, they say. Kept it inside the line on the swing for the kill. And vantage point of the line judge had a much better look than we did. Called a kill for the Falcons, who now need six to take a 2-0 set lead. Sierra Cable. Right back to Hughes, the setup on the swing. Takes some bounces off the net, trying to read it, Sierra Cable. It took a bounce off, I think a light a backboard and maybe a rafter or two before ultimately dropping down. Reserve gets the point, Reserve gets the serve. Looking to close this lead of the Falcons. Oh, the setup right back to Jocelyn Jordan. How nicely executed that was, point to Fitch. Falcons need five for the set victory. Jordan Smith in to serve. Gonna have to try to get a powerful push behind it, Olivia Hughes. Tried to do just that, but it goes to the crowd. And Fitch now creating the most distance in this set. Leading by six, needing four for the victory. Western Reserve looking to get a point back. Nice defense, but right back. Jocelyn Jordan's focus never wavered. As it got sent right back to her, she doubled down on the swing. Another kill for Double J. Jordan Smith. Olivia Hughes. They drop it in, yes they did. Winning the net battle through the first two sets has been the difference that we've seen. Austin Town's done a fantastic job getting those blocks defensively. But also, the soft contact hits and not necessarily as that one was tipped off of reserve last. Fitch looking for set point. Jordan Smith. Hughes gets it straight up to Meyer, the swing. Fought for at the net. They're going to have to try to send it over. Can't do it, though. Four touches, too many. As point two reserve. Blue Devils looking to play mistake-free volleyball for the set. Almost dropped that in nicely. Good read by Jordan Smith. On the swing, was it tipped? No, they say. Point two reserve. It's always the question when you go far side of the court and you hope that second referee has a good look on it. Another nice serve, what drop on that. Simons to Jocelyn Jordan, kept it in the air as point gonna go to Fitch as Olivia Hughes kinda got caught in between chest high and committed the double touch penalty. 25-17 is the final score here in set two. Fitch takes a two set to none lead. Looking for a match win in set three. Western Reserve can only get a match win if they force a set five. We got a three minute intermission in between sets. We'll be back with the start of set three right after this. Quality, customer service and integrity. Those are the four words that have driven our success since 1957 at Joe Dickey Electric. Joe Dickey Electric is one Mahoning Valley landmark business that stays current with the requirements of our customers. Family owned and managed, we are an electrical contractor and energy solutions provider. Every member of our team adds to his or her skill set through ongoing training. Residential, commercial, industrial, automotive, and more. We keep ahead of the needs of our customers with a fleet of more than 50 vehicles and 24-7 emergency service, so you're never left in the dark.
winter, spring, summer, and fall, Mill Creek Metro Parks is your park for all seasons. Make a memory in the park. Plan your visit today at millcreekmetroparks.org. Getting ready to start set three here in Berlin Center, Western Reserve. Blue Devils trailing two sets to none to the Austin Town Fitch Falcons. Set scores were set one, 25 10, Fitch 25 17, and set two again in favor of Fitch. Jocelyn Jordan putting on a show, grabbing multiple kills in the first two sets as Western Reserve. Improved the net defense from set one to set two. Now looking to do so again. Tighten up some things and try to get back into this match. Afton Roby starts Fitch off on the right foot. One nothing Falcons take an early advantage. They set up and they swing. Nice job by Jocelyn Jordan getting that across. Swing that time from Western Reserve. Again, couldn't get it to cross the fence. Fitch quickly grabs a lead. Oh, what a tip. Riley Simons picks up the ace. And a 3-0 lead. Austin Town Fitch. Jones gets the first touch to Meyer, the swing, as Simons had the touch, but it goes the wrong way from the Falcons offense as Reserve picks up the point and the serve back. A nice serve, or a nice setup, I should say, from Simons to Folkwine. Two close friends that finally have the opportunity to play with one another as played on separate teams in middle school. Falcons have the two teams because they get a, such high numbers of participation. And because of the talent level of Simons and Folkwad, they thought it to be fair to keep them on different teams throughout their middle school career. 5-1. Fitch, big advantage. Kylie Folkwine and Riley Simons also the first two in the serve order for Austintown. Olivia Hughes on the swing. Dilts got underneath it. Jocelyn Jordan has it touched at the net and dropping in front of Lisa Eichert. And a five point advantage. Meyer works it to Capabianca towards the front of the net. Nice defense and nice awareness, most importantly, by Olivia Hughes. Didn't lose focus on it. Got the tap in for the point. Simons. Swing, kill, Roscoe. Adds one to her season total. Jordan Binion checking in. Lily Dilch checking out. Looking for some defense on that front row at the net. And reinforcements have been the key for Fitch at that net. Nice serve from Cable. Cable works it back towards the front. Swing though from Jocelyn Jordan. It stays on the Austin Town side. And a 7-3 Falcon advantage. 
reserve. And Madison Leone to serve for the Blue Devils. Folkwine to Simon, swing Roscoe, too strong. As the Blue Devils pick up two in a row. From Folkwine to Simons, Jordan Binion has it blocked and dropped right in front of the Falcons in Fitch territory. Net defense for reserve, won that battle, kept the serve with the Blue Devils. Leone, another nice serve. Falcons moving backward on the defense. And reserve has climbed their way back within one. Fitch leading two sets to none over the Blue Devils. So Western Reserve needs this set. Oh, nice tap in. Point though to Fitch as they say crossing the line. We had an instance of that happen the other way where Fitch got called for something like that in set number one. So they say crossing the net on the Blue Devils side and the point goes to Austin Town. Olivia Hughes looking to give it right back. Nice dig. Hughes got the touch. Ball goes underneath the net. And the point goes to Austin Town. They retake a three-point advantage. Oh, uh, what a serve off of Capabianca last. And another point for Fitch. 10-6. Falcons leading in this one. Working it towards the front, Hughes able to cross it over. Nice swing again by Hughes this time, off of Fitch last for a point. Austin Town only dropping six sets all season as in their nine and one record, their one loss came to Lakeview, so obviously the three sets there went five with a very much improved Strongsville team in which the Falcons dropped, like I said, two sets in that one. And they also dropped one against their rival, the Canfield Cardinals, and a four-set victory for Fitch. So 28-6, and six, the set win-loss record for Austin Town on the season. Simons, Jocelyn Jordan adds another kill to her night. And now, Jocelyn Jordan to serve. Had some nice arc on it. Leone to Eichert. Oh, Eichert with some force behind that swing. No messing around. As Eichert gets reserve within two. Dalen Brown. Brown gets the first touch, Leone to Eichert. Eichert attacks Jocelyn Jordan. Simons to Folkwine. Straight up over to Eichert. Eichert gets a great swing and takes a lot off of it. Going from fastball to changeup. And back-to-back -back swings brought the heat with her last one. Took a ton off of it this time around. And got Blue Devils back within two. Back within one, excuse me. Looking to tie the game. Crossing the net. Fitch does point to the Blue Devils. They say Riley Simons is the one. Ran into the net. 11 all. 
Blue Devils battling their way back to even. Dalen Brown, nice serve. Gonna have to swing from way far back in the back row. Nice job by Olivia Hughes defensively. They're gonna need to set up the swing to Jocelyn Jordans. Hughes gets the first touch. Leon Eichert swings, attacks Folkwine on the touch. Folkwine looks to swing. Folkwine gets the kill. Breaks the tie, 12-11 Fitch. Lily Dilts. Now to serve as Dilts. Right back, Eichert has it bounce off the top of the net. Capabianca now on the swing, but couldn't get it to cross said net as Fitch. At a Baker's dozen with a two point advantage. Swing from Eichert. Oh, nice defense at the net. Capabianca was there. Swing now from Eichert. Sends it scrambling off of Dilts. Eichert gets one back for reserve. Blue Devils showing a lot of fight, not going down without one. Folkwine had the first touch. Jocelyn Jordan on the swing. Jones on the touch, Capabianca on the swing. Jocelyn Jordan gets underneath it, set up swing, Folkwine. Jones on the first touch, the set up, the swing from Eichert. Diltz has it straight up in the air, going out to get it. Now crossing it over, Simons free ball attempt though for the Blue Devils, pushing it over the net. Folkwine on the first touch, Jocelyn Jordan on the swing. Hughes gets the touch, the set up, the swing, soft touch by Capabianca. And now again, counter touch by the Falcons. Defenses still staying alive. Free ball opportunity again for Fitch. The set up, the swing, the kill, the exclamation point. Afton Roby has been the exclamation point on a bunch of long volleys today. Talking about Afton Roby. She adds another one to get Fitch up by two. Simons with that serve at the top of the serve order for Austin Town. Simons sets up Folkwine. Folkwine, though, couldn't get it across or over the fence. And a 14 13 Fitch advantage, but Western Reserve with the serve. Oh, nice serve. Tried to tip it right back in. Capabianca. Olivia Hughes did it tip off of the Falcons. No, it did not. Last touch by Hughes and point awarded to Austin Town. Lead by two again. Fitch needing 10 for not only a set but a match victory. Reserve looking to recapture a lead. That's going to help their causes, adding one, getting the serve back. Not wanting to accept a straight set defeat. Reserve showing a lot of fight here in set three. Oh, nice set, but no, they say crossing in. No, they say double touch by the Blue Devils as Fitch picks up another. Both teams have all their timeouts in the set. Sierra Cable with the serve. Hughes on the first touch, back to Hughes on the swing, Cable underneath it with the dig, swing coming from Julia Jordan on the first touch, reserve sent it over, Eichert to Hughes, swing, Folkwine underneath it, Julia Jordan again tried to just elevate it into reserve territory, last touch by the Falcons as it heads out of bounds, and reserve has been in this situation couple of times here down in the stretch late in this set where they've been within one with the serve looking to tie things up Leon 
Underneath it, Folkwine swing from Julia Jordan straight up in the air, drops right back down with a lot more velocity, tipped and point by the Falcons. Jordan Smith. Lisa Eichert had the first touch to Leon as Olivia Hughes went with the swing. Defense though, Jocelyn Jordan at the net. Denies it entirely. And gets the Falcons within seven of the match victory. Working across a free ball does Western Reserve. Three touches, Binion pushes it to the back row, setting up, looking to swing, Hughes. Back row, dropped it in as Olivia Hughes gets the kill. Olivia Hughes with the kill, gets reserve back within two. Olivia Hughes also back to serve. Jordan Smith to Simon, swing from Jocelyn Jordan. Two touches, kept it alive. Nice job, Olivia Hughes. Free ball, though. Jocelyn Jordan, did she get it? Yes, she did. Tipped by the Blue Devils. Point to the Falcons. Leone to Eichert right back on the Blue Devils side. Pushing it to the front of the net. Eichert gets it over. Simons on the first touch. They have to send it over. Two touches to send it back to the Falcons. Simons now gets a chance to set up. Folkwine, she drops it in off the tip and the point for Austin Town. And one of those rare times you saw in that sequence where Simons had to touch the ball first and in Fitch's system, Unlike Western Reserve, who utilizes that 5-2, Fitch utilizing a 6-1 primarily a lot more now. You see Simons with a bunch of assists. Don't want her getting that first touch because it really uh, takes away her ability to set then for that final touch. So if you can help it, you want to try to ensure that that first touch goes anywhere but Simons. And they've done a great job of that this season has Fitch. We have a timeout on the court. Falcons leading by four. We'll be right back. Every customer has a story, whether it's buying a car for the first time, helping them get approved, or finding the perfect car for their budget. I'm proud that people trust me with their story. I'm Tracy, and I'm ready to go the extra mile for you, only at Greenwood Chevrolet. 2016, Austin Town in front, also in front, two sets to none against the Blue Devils, looking for the final five points in the set to get not only the set victory, but the match victory and get their 10th match victory of the season. Swing stays on the Blue Devils' side. Point goes to Fitch. They need four. Tipped at the net. Simon sets up Folkwine. Leone to Eichert. Oh, nice defense by Jordan Smith. Having to push it middle of the court. The swing last touched by the Blue Devils as it heads out of bounds. Binion off the swing. Fitch needs three. Jocelyn Jordan with the set. And the serve, the swing. Eichert too strong. As Falcons now have taken a seven point advantage, needing two more for the match victory. Jocelyn Jordan on the serve to the back row. Push near side, swing by Eichert. To Simons, to Folkwine, Folkwine swing right back on Austin Town's side, swing too strong, and out of bounds. Yeah. 
Allison Jones with reserve with back with in six on the serve. Jordan Smith to Simons. Binion on the swing gets it tipped and gets it to drop in. Match point coming up for Austin Town. Lily Dilts, Libero back to serve as Fitch looks for the straight set victory. Allison Jones comes in with a nice first touch. The swing, Jordan gets underneath it. Folkwine on the swing, Folkwine gets the finish and that'll do it here in Western Reserve High School as the Austin Town Fitch Falcons get the straight set victory 25-10. 25-17, 25-17. The win will send Austintown to 10-1 on the season as their next matchup will be home against the visiting Louisville Leopards Wednesday, September 21st. For Western Reserve, they will drop now to 8-4 on the campaign with their next matchup actually coming tomorrow right here at home versus the conference opponent in the MVAC Scarlet tier in the Waterloo Lady Vikings, three and seven, the Vikings coming in to tomorrow night's contest with. I'd like to thank you all for tuning in and watching this broadcast of YSN Live Volleyball. To our proud owners, both DJ Yokely and Brian Scott, who are able to bring this game to each and every one of you, unable to make it in attendance tonight. To our GM, Steve Leslie, who with his work with Bob Scene Park Baseball, YSU Football, YSNLive.com, the man of many hats, and we wouldn't know what to do if he didn't wear all of them, so we thank you. Steve, for everything that you do. And most importantly to all of you who tuned in and helped support these kids, these schools, these communities, you guys are really and truly what YSN Live is all about. And so we thank you. If you're tuning in from the Austin Town community, watching your Falcons from afar, we want to thank you for your continued support of not only the Austin Town Fitch Falcons, but of course, YSNLive.com. Or if you were right here in Berlin Center supporting your Western Reserve Lady Blue Devils, we of course say hello to you and thank you for your constant support of not only Western Reserve, but of YSNLive.com or wherever you may be in high school volleyball. This is Ty Bartell bidding you all a farewell and a good night, everybody. YSN thanks you for watching this presentation of your sports network. For stories, stats, and more, go to ysnlive.com.